Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome to those of you watching online at onespotmedia.com. Tributes have been pouring in for former cabinet minister Dr. D.K. Duncan, who died this morning. His death was confirmed by General Secretary of the People's National Party, Julian Robinson. Dr. Duncan was admitted to hospital after experiencing sinusitis and tiredness. It was later confirmed that he had COVID-19. D.K. Duncan, a dentist by profession, began his political career in 1966. At that time, he was the PNP's campaign manager in the local government elections in St. Anne. He later served as PNP campaign manager for various candidates in the general elections of 1967 and 1972. Dr. Duncan was elected Member of Parliament for St. Andrew East Central in the 1976 general election. Dr. Duncan was appointed Minister of National Mobilization and Human Resource in 1977. He became General Secretary of the People's National Party in 1974. This was Dr. Duncan ahead of the 1980 general election, which the PNP went on to lose. It is to the everlasting credit of our founding fathers that the party they built and the hopes and aspirations they had for the people have remained to this day in both form and substance, as attested by our principles and objectives published in 1978, which will form the basis of our election manifesto. These forthcoming general elections will be contested within the guidelines and procedures of an improved electoral system. The historical record will show that it was only the leadership of the People's National Party government, consistent with its principles and sense of moral purpose, that implemented a program of action that has led to the new system. In the 1990s, D.K. Duncan was also part of the New Beginning Movement and the National Democratic Movement. He would renew his ties with the PNP and became Member of Parliament for Hanover East in 2007 until 2016. PNP President Dr. Peter Phillips says Dr. Duncan was part of the generation of young people who, towards the end of the 1960s, became very active politically in post-independence Jamaica. Dr. Phillips says he wanted to chart a course for social justice for ordinary Jamaicans, even fighting hand-in-hand -hand with the farmers who were in a battle with bauxite mining companies. According to Dr. Phillips, Dr. Duncan was a revolutionary. D.K. Duncan was part of that generation of young people who accepted the challenge towards the end of the 1960s that Jamaica could be a place of social justice and where the voice of the people could be the dominant voice. He devoted himself from that time to the cause of the Jamaican people. I believe all told he has made an indelible and very positive contribution to Jamaica's progress over these many years. Dr. Phillips said Dr. Duncan's death represents a great loss to the PNP and Jamaica's progressive movement and that he will be remembered as a hard-working, talented political organizer, respected by friends and foes. However, Dr. Duncan was also seen as a polarizing figure who had many critics and enemies who did not agree with his political philosophy, which was viewed as radical. Debbie Anwright reporting for TVJ News.